Hello, this is Bloss 6 I'm here with the Quest Run, and we're going to be doing, well, we, we do like talk, we do like editorials talking about stuff, and the, the, we haven't done one in a while, and this one's a bit of an odd case because we're actually a bit ahead of a Nintendo Direct announcement as well as a, uh, as well as the reveal of the eventual successor to the Nintendo Switch. So today, <laughs> a bit ahead of the game, uh, ahead of the game there. <laughs> basically, yeah. So <laughs> we're going to be doing five predictions each for the Direct and five predictions each for the Switch successor. Basically, um, we kind of already have a, a idea of the specs, just like a better version of the Switch, or at least vague mm -hmm. specs. But so we're not going to focus on that. But we're yeah, we're just going to try to think of games, mostly just game predictions at this point. Right. And maybe, like, uh, our last one for the successor, maybe, a real, maybe like, uh, days of, like, a window of when it's getting announced, window of when it's releasing. We'll see. Right. So, um, while I set up my food, why don't you kick us off with your first uh, prediction for the Direct? Uh, my first prediction for the Direct, uh, this is... Uh, a Metroid Prime 2 and 3 remasters dropping today with physical copies in a couple weeks. I can definitely see Metroid Prime 2 and possibly 3 um, mm. at least being shown, absolutely. Right. Dropped that like, day, like, like, I mean, I'm like, a bit hesitant on that, though. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I think, like, maybe if anything, then maybe they'll say, and then maybe they'll announce, like, two dropping, and then three will be coming in the future kind of a thing. And then, and then that I could believe. Copies. That I could easily see. Yeah. Right. Yeah, definitely going to see something involving Metroid Prime, probably. Mm-hmm. Even if it's, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll say my piece about four when we get to the Switch successor stuff. Spoiler mm -hmm. for that. <laughs> All right. My first prediction for the direct is we're gonna see something related to Splatoon. Okay. Like Splatoon four or Splatoon three DLC. I um DLC for three is already done, so my prediction is probably either a winding down of the Splatfests with one last one, or possibly or possibly a spin off, because mm. I could easily see it with how popular Splatoon is. Right. Or they could just do something really crazy and just do a Splatoon One remake. Uh, no, I think um, um, the uh, the first half of the DLC for three kind of already does that. Oh, okay. Well, well, yes, and uh, well, uh, it's like that pirate meme. Well, yes, but actually, no. <laughs> Yeah, so basically just anything Splatoon-related. It's a bit vague, mm. but it's a pretty big guarantee. It's, it's a safe prediction. Right, right. All right. Um, I'll go next. We'll alternate. Um, my next prediction will be that... Um, hmm. I don't want to be vague. I want to be a bit more specific. Okay. Um, I'm gonna predict a, a Pokemon game getting a remaster, and I'm not saying it's gonna be a mainline. I'm thinking we're gonna get a spinoff. Okay. My money would be either Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky DX or possibly Poke Park Wii, um, Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure getting remastered. Okay. It'll probably just be renamed to Poke Park Pikachu's Adventure. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm just thinking, like, a, a Pokemon spinoff uh, returning to Switch. Okay. Yeah, that All sounds right. good. Uh, what's your next one? Uh, this one... This one's maybe, like, a... Uh, well, I mean, a lot of these are probably Dark Horses, but uh, a Xenogears remaster. Kind of in the vague of uh, Star Ocean. The Star Ocean re uh, remake that they did, as I uh, but uh, because because I mean figured like since the the Xeno the Xeno series has been on Switch for a while, might as well like kind of do something that kind of starts at the beginning of everything. Oh, I have a Xeno prediction as well, but it's not yeah. for this section. Yeah, but I mean, and so so yeah, so, I was so probably like a like a probably like a, a bit of uh, something of a Xeno Gears remaster. In yeah. the in the in the in the vein of Star Ocean. 
the second story that they did. I, I could, eh, I could see that, but I have yeah. a different uh, RPG related prediction. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, actually, yeah. All right. Um, I think you're going uh, next. Yeah. Uh, so this one, this one, this one's probably even more of like a, a probably unlikely, but Fire Emblem Engage DLC. No, I yeah. don't see that. Honestly, I don't see that at all. Yeah. Engage already had DLC. It did. Yes. What you didn't um, know? I've completely probably completely spaced on it. Yeah. Because I, I was probably I was probably thinking of like expansions, like how Three Houses did the big big old thingy. Well, they kind of did that too. Hmm. Yeah, have you played Engage? I played I played a lot of it. I finished it, and okay. I need, and I still need to do the whole DLC mini campaign. Mm. Okay. Um, I don't. Uh, would you want to adjust that to just anything Fire Emblem related? Yeah, yeah, or just anything Fire Emblem related, like another game announcement, just saying, hey, we're making something again. Yeah, my money would be on a remake. I'm guessing either um, an SNES game or the Radiance duology. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll really tick off the the people that spend a bunch of money on uh, those, those games. Yeah, the one oh, person. Kind of like, kinda, kinda, kinda like when they announced the Paper Mario remake. They're like, oh, now, now the GameCube version's worthless. Okay, let me think. Hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Okay. So you've done three. I've done three. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, I so think you've done two. I'm Actually, my I think last done two. two. Okay. All right. My next prediction for the direct. I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a bit bold. I'm going to say that they're going to revive a series that we haven't seen in over a decade. Okay. And I'm going to predict that it's Punch-Out. Okay. Well, well, when I say um, bring, back a, uh, bring back a dormant franchise, I mean for Punch-Out specifically, I'm going to say that they're just going to remaster the Wii game. Okay. Yeah. That sounds, uh, yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah. And, and like, it's like probably one of the only games that I still want brought to the modern platform. Mm-hmm. Like after that, I'm I'm mostly set. Like I got some of my favorite games already on the Switch. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and then for my last prediction for the Switch, I'm gonna guess that there's going to be one last big NSO drop. Okay. I'm gonna predict that it's gonna be smash 64 okay yeah that sounds that sounds fair i think that i think that sounds pro- probable yeah uh, yeah hold on yeah and they all go right. back to where it all began all right uh what's your final two for the for the direct uh this one is prob- probably like super obvious but also probably like we'll, we'll see um twilight princess wind waker ports Oh yeah, had I, I honestly forgot that. But like, either either separately or together, maybe we'll do like a together for like a bundle, but it'll cost you more money because obviously. Yeah, I, I definitely um, agree with that. Yeah, and then and then the last one, like w- like one more thing at least for the Switch would be Kid I- Kid Icarus Uprising. No, that would be nice. Yeah. In sixty frames per second. <laughs> Glorious Super HD, 1080p. <laughs> Probably updated controls and everything like that. You know, you know the deal. Oh, like Super Bash Sisters. You mean Super Smash Brothers? That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. All right. All right. I got a bold one for the first uh, Switch successor one. Okay. <clears throat> this one is going to be released. Well, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, hmm. 
trying to think. Uh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, okay, yeah, here's a bit of a bold one. We're not going to see Xenoblade Chronicles X released for the Switch. We're going to see it released for the Switch successor. No, yeah, I had that on my list, too. I figured we were going to see it for the Switch, too. Yeah. Because I think it would just work better with the Switch to, on this as a successor. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, I remember them going on about how X would be like too like it's a, it's too it's too big to to make for this for the first Switch. I'm like, okay, well, obviously they're gonna be, they're making it for the Switch too. Mm-hmm. And I can see, and I, I'm also seeing them um, re redoing the the character models to fit to fit with the trilogy more. Yeah. All right. Uh, your first one up. Um. Or did I steal it? I mean, I th- what? No, no, no. My uh, my first prediction is like is like when they when they announce the Switch two, they're not going to announce a game first. They're going to announce graphical updates to Switch one games. Oh yeah, I agree. And 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 uh, the, the the only three like I I, I put it here would be the Xenoblade trilogy, um, and Astral Chain. If that's 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 the more dark horse one. But but I figured Astral Chain could use a uh, a sixty frames per second patch on there. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'm sure, there's, I'm sure there's other games that will help get upgraded, but those were the two that came to mind to me. I was gonna say, like first party games like um, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom would get it first. Mm. Also, probably Mario Odyssey. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I agree. Upgraded Switch 1 games. My next prediction is... We're going to get a new system for, for the successor exclusively. Okay. I'm going to predict that it's going to be Neo Geo. Oh, okay. That would be cool. It might be also for the original Switch, but I think that Neo Geo will be first on Switch 2. Okay. Considering Terry was in Smash Ultimate, I'd like to think that maybe SNK went, um, like, uh, talked in their ear like the devil on their shoulder. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. (laughs) But yeah, I I would be inclined to think that maybe there will be something big for for NSO. Right, right. All right, your second one. Um. Well, I was like p- picking back off off of something big for NSO. Mine was GameCube. I disagree. Yeah, probably. I think they're just going to keep on remastering and remaking GameCube games instead. That's probably true. My third prediction for the Switch successor. We got Super Mario RPG. We got Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Next is Partners in Time. <laughs> completely spaced on what Partners in Time is. Hmm? I'm completely spaced on what Partners in Time is. Mario and Luigi 2. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the one where they teamed up with the babies. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I it completely think, skipped my mind. Yeah, because I think having it, if it is on the original Switch, I think it'll be a little too late. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um. All right, your third. Um. I think because Nintendo is that company. There will be some games that they'll remaster for the Switch Two that they won't that that won't get graphical upgrades, but that they'll just sell them again. And like and that and, and that is Zelda. 
What you mean? Know, I, Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask. No, Mario. no, like no, like Breath and Tears will not will not get upgrades. They'll just be sold. They'll just sell them again. No, no, I don't think so. Well, they might they might do what The Last of Us Part Two did, mm -hmm. and just you have to pay a small fee to get mm -hmm. access to the upgraded version. I don't I see don't, them I completely just, recharging you again. I get the feeling that they're going to do it. It feels like they're that kind of company that does that. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they did it to something, but I don't think Zelda. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing, the thing, well, the, the, if, it's, if it's not Zelda, then my next prediction would be Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, that's my prediction. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to say, well, I'll probably add on to that really quick that it'll probably be called Scarlet DX and Violet DX. Probably. <laughs> but yeah. Either, either that or give it like a, like a, like ultra scarlet and ultra violet. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. So, fourth prediction. I'm going to predict that we're not going to see Smash Brothers for a whole year. Okay. Let's assume that the uh, successor launches early 2025. I'm going to mm -hmm. predict we're not going to see Smash until 2026. Okay. We will probably... Um, to add on to that, I'm thinking that we will probably see Mario Kart, with, Mario Kart and Zelda within the first year. Mm-hmm. It worked well with the uh, Switch, so I'd imagine it would do it again. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what's your fourth? Uh, finally announcing what's going on with Metro Prime, Prime 4. Oh yeah, I was gonna... Never mind, yeah. <laughs> I, <don't know> if <laughs> I should have had that as my fourth. Ah, <laughs> four. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I timed it. <laughs> that was intentional. All right. Um, I want you to go for your fifth because my fifth is kind of big. Well, my fifth is just like the one one more thing, and that's just a, another Switch Two Mario. That's just a Switch Two Mario game. It doesn't uh, it's two not, or just something else. Just something, Super Mario something something. Like, All right. And it'll be like it'll be like a big CD trailer or something like that, or an engine trailer or something. Yeah. That opens up. That opens up to the the new world that Mario is going to be in, and then it'll be like splash screen, new Mario in development or something. All right. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, mine is a bit big. Mm hmm. It is kind of crazy though. All mm -hmm. right. So. Black screen. Um, we fade into a sunny day. Mm -hmm. Pan down, and we and and it's a um, and it's a two point five D. Um. Um. But like um, looking very similar to Octopath Traveler kind of three D pixely thing. Mm hmm. We pan to the left and we see a. A little blonde boy waking up from the uh, sunflowers. Mm hmm He looks to the left, he looks to the right, looks to the left again, and he sees what he presumes is his mother. He runs over. Um, his mother is over a cliff, a floating, clearly a ghost thing, premonition. And mm -hmm. he jumps, and then the screen fades to white, and it reads... Mother 3 Remake, coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. To a theater near you. Oh my god, it's actually a movie. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, because honestly, if we are going to get Mother 3 ever, 
It has mm. to be a remake. There's no other way. Mm. Right, right. Nintendo just won. <laughs> no, they'll be like the, the wouldn't Twitter they reaction. just? Wouldn't they just? Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to release the original overseas. They're going to just remake it and then release that overseas. Okay. Yeah, that make that probably makes sense. How I figured this out is because of what happened with um, Vivian and the Paper Mario remake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they um, they were more accurate to the Japanese. Right, right. Version and they toned down a few things that might be out of touch for modern audiences. So mm-hmm. I think they'll do a remake instead of okay. re- releasing it on the NSO. Okay. All right. Do you have any last-minute predictions for either the Direct or the successor? No, I think that about covers it. Yeah, I did say that my prediction for the Time Windows would be, well, I'm going to say that the announcement will probably be sometime later this year. I'm guessing either October or November. Mm -hmm. And it will release in March or April of next year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're usually pretty. The, the well, what I like about Nintendo for the most part is that they announce stuff, and it usually comes out within a couple months after, a few months afterwards. Yeah, not like freaking Sony where they announce things five years before it comes out. Yeah, for once, I'd actually want them to announce a Sly game. Uh, yeah. At least no, we won't get out. we won't get that until twenty forty five. Well, we did get um, Thebius Raccoonus on PS four, PS five recently. Oh uh, yeah. I'll probably buy that up when the money is finally right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for our predictions. And um, people are saying that the Direct will probably be on Tuesday, so... Um, that's fun. I'm not going to react to that, unfortunately, yeah. because it's a work day. But yeah. I will definitely if see it. On it Wednesday, if it was on Wednesday, that would probably be different. Because, I mean, at least at my, at my, at my work, because I, I have Wednesday off. But still. Same here. I have Wednesday off as well. Yeah, so if it ends up on Wednesday, we maybe we'll be able to react to it, but we'll see. All right, well, that's it for now. Um, hopefully, even just one thing from our lists can hopefully show up. Right. Probably Splatoon. It'll be a Splatoon. All right, that's it. Signing off today. Bye-bye. Bye.